Hey guys, so we're here at Epcot and the walls are finally coming down. I am so excited to be sharing this brand new plaza that they've been working on for so long, as well as the new Walt the Dreamer statue. And then the most exciting thing is tonight is the dawn of Luminous, the brand new fireworks spectacular here at Epcot with the brand new barges and a, just a new show. So we're also gonna be checking out Epcot Festival of the Holidays, sharing some of the food with you guys and the festivities, and uh, it's gonna be a really exciting day here at Epcot. Let's go. We just turned the corner and I'm so excited. The walls are down. I can see an open path. It's crazy. The walls have been up for so long. I don't even remember what this looks like. There's so much space. Like, it's so open. It's so wild. Like, ugh, I'm so excited. So welcome to Epcot World Celebration. This is a brand new plaza. Honestly, I love it. The old space used to just have a giant fountain here, and it was just like a pathway. Now we have meet and greet areas. We have benches. We have just... I don't know, it feels like the heart of Epcot. And it's it's super exciting. Wow, look at this really cool seated area. You can sit down, enjoy this beautiful view, and recharge. They actually have specialized charging stations now. They actually have these in most of the parks, like the uh, tree stumps over by Rapunzel's bathroom has uh, charging stations, but now it's just over here. It looks like a... Honestly, it reminds me of like a Silicon Valley cafeteria in the best way possible. It's so modern, it's so fresh, it's so new. So the caveat to all this is not all of the walls are down. So they do still have a little bit of work left on this area and it is coming along nicely. I love the, the little triangles on the side and the design. So that is coming along, but this area, if this new area is to show what that is going to be, I'm super excited. I love the design, I love the architecture, and just the overall vibe and look of this place. Oh my gosh, this new area is just so nice. It's modern, it's sleek, it's beautiful. I love the music. Like, the music here is just amazing. It's the same music that you get at the entrance, and frankly, the entrance vibes are amazing and I'm so glad to see them extended out into this new heart of Epcot. But the question now is it's no longer left or right. Like back in the day during the walls, back in the day <laughs> <laughs> during the walls, it was either left or right. Now it's like left, right, straight, diagonal, east, north, west, and there's so many options and it's amazing. It it's is. it's amazing. So we just went into Creations to do a little bit of shopping. Unfortunately, there isn't any new merch for Luminous or World Celebration or anything like that, but it was still fun to do a little bit of shopping. But it's time to do something we haven't been able to do in years. So before to go from Creations to Figment, you had to walk all the way around the globe just to get to the other side. But we could finally walk across. And three seconds later, we've made it across Epcot. Woo! Woo! So another thing that's super exciting that we're gonna be checking out later tonight is apparently parts of the sidewalk are supposed to glow like they used to. And so we'll be back here later tonight, not only to check out Luminous, but to see the sidewalk glow again, which I used to play with as a little kid. So I'm, I'm really excited about it to see again. <laughs> On your tour, you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Ears are hearing, a thousand thoughts can start appearing, and the imagination must be captured and controlled. Uh -huh. Imagination works best when it's set free. <laughs> With just the spark of inspiration, I made my house. <laughs> All right, so we have to pay homage to Figment at the beginning of the holidays and see him in his holiday sweater. 
But now we can actually get the festivities started and check out Epcot Festival of the Holidays. So this is the giant tostada de chorizo from the Mexico Pavilion for Epcot Festival of the Holidays. I've actually tried this before already and already rated it a 10 out of 10, but I actually hasn't tried it yet. So let's see what she thinks. Mmm, that's really good. Right? The beans are fine on it. Like, I'm not a bean person, but it really doesn't taste like that. The chorizo oh is really good. Yeah. The sauce is very good. I love the texture of the, um, the chip as well. Mm -hmm. It's a good crunch, but then also nice and soft. Yeah, it's really, really good. The tostadas are still absolutely amazing and deserving a 10 out of 10. We're gonna try more savory foods, but before that, let's go and see the, the Odyssey Pavilion. There's supposed to be some really good cookies there, and let's start the cookie stroll. So for the Epcot Festival of the Holidays, they have a special menu called the Holiday Cookie Stroll. So as you venture around Epcot Festival of the Holidays, you can try these various cookies, get a stamp, and then you get a special cookie when you return to a specific pavilion with all of your stamps. And so for the Cookie Stroll here in the Holiday Hearth Desserts booth slash building is the Peppermint Pinwheel Cookie. I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty dry, but We'll see when we try it. And then I got a bonus dessert for Ashley. Ashley loves crumb cake, and so I just had to grab it. So let's see how it looks. It comes in a fancy box. It's also very dense. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. That looks good. That looks very good. As I was carrying it over here, it was pretty heavy, which just shows it's really dense. I'm really excited for this one. I hope this one's good. <laughs> First bite of this cookie, it's really hard to, to the touch, so <sighs> flavor-wise, it's pretty good. It's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be hard. It's actually very soft. It reminds me a lot of, like, those cookies you get in the tin that you eventually use for sewing kits. Like those type of sugar cookies. Overall, this isn't the worst. It's not great, but it's not the worst. I can smell it from here. I'd give it like a six out of ten. Like a six out of ten. Like yeah. honestly, this isn't that bad. I was, I had very low expectations for this thing, but that is a pleasant surprise. Holy smokes, this this cake is incredible. Like. It has chunks of apple in it. It has a nice hard crust to give you that crunch still. It has just, it's a nice, moist, dense cake, and it's only $4.75. This thing is perfect. Like this is, this festival is now, now giving, like making me give out three 10 out of 10s. Like the food for this festival is incredible. They need to make it longer. And this crumb cake is just amazing. Like maybe I'm just getting lucky and just hitting everything that's great, or maybe everything at this festival is great, but like this crumb cake is perfection. Oh, now that we're fueled up, we actually checked creations earlier for Luminous merch, but then we just got word that the merch just dropped. I noticed this for uh, Festival of the Holidays as well, that they dropped the merch later in the day. Don't know why, but hopefully we can find some Luminous merch now. Yay, we found it! Yay. Oh my gosh, I actually really like it. Yeah. I kinda wish it was a spirit jersey. Yeah. It honestly feels like a crew jersey. Like, being part of the team that made it, honestly. It's giving those vibes, but I dig it. And then they have a purple t-shirt as well. I love the name of this new show, Luminous, the Symphony of Us. Oh, it's on the back too. I think I might grab this t-shirt, honestly. Yeah. It's really nice. It's a good color. Purple. Yeah. And they have magnets and ornaments as well. So, like I said earlier, they didn't have any of this stuff out there, but maybe we just missed it? I don't know, I usually don't miss merch, but it's out here now. All right, so merch acquired. 
Honestly, the shirt and the hoodie are pretty cool. We got one of each, and uh, we're, we're probably gonna need it tonight because it's gonna get pretty pretty chilly tonight. But let's continue the cookie stroll and go get some more cookies. Up next on the cookie stroll is the snickerdoodle from the Yukon Holiday Kitchen. And honestly, this isn't this isn't equivalent to the last cookie we got. One, this thing is huge. Like, came for reference. The last cookie we got was like maybe a quarter the size of this thing. And it cost about the same. I think it was like $3? Yeah, it was like $3.25. So it cost the same as the tiny peppermint pinwheel cookie. But we got a much bigger cookie. I wonder if it tastes better. It's actually really good. One, the value is there because it's huge. Like, we just got the peppermint cookie from over at the Odyssey Pavilion and it was it was tiny compared to this thing. And flavor-wise, it's way better. It's a nice, soft cookie. Um, it has a little bit of tack to it. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, it kind of sticks to your teeth a little bit. But overall, the flavors are there and everything that you would expect from a snickerdoodle cookie in a really big size. I'm gonna give it like a solid eight out of 10. It's really good. Um, and it's a great value. All right, and that's two down and three to go. The last stamp is for the festival treat cookie. And this is the list of cookies that qualify. Not all cookies actually qualify for the holiday cookie stroll. Honestly, I hope we make it. This is a lot of cookies. I, I'm normally not a big sweets person, so we'll see if we actually finish the cookie stroll today. <laughs> Also from the Canada Pavilion, you can actually get a better look at the garage of the barges. So these are like the new water tacos. Like I said earlier, they, they sailed them over here, but in the back of it, you'll see those little white tops. Those are the little fireworks barges. And so later on tonight, they're gonna deploy those out through the lagoon. Uh, I'm so excited for it. Honestly, I kind of wish that I got to see the giant water tacos sail in earlier, but apparently we missed it, or they just did it early, early, early in the morning and they wanted to make sure that these were ready for tonight's premiere. I don't know, but either way, they're really cool and I'm really excited for Luminous. I am in love with this brand new Epcot World Celebration, but there's one question that I need to know. What does this place look like at night? So three, <laughs> two, one. And I thought this place couldn't get any better. At night, it's even prettier. Like, it's so stunning. I love the underglow, and it's not just like, casual underglow. It actually syncs up with the ball and so as the ball has different shows throughout the season the lights in this lane dance along with it. It's such an amazing effect and honestly I'm a little bit saddened that the fiber optics is gone but this is the new effect that they're going to use. This is the new effect that we're going to live with and I'm, I'm happy. It's a worthy successor and wow I, I'm still just so amazed by Epcot's new world celebration. Okay, so I'll admit, I might have gotten a little bit distracted and spent a little too much time just sitting and watching the shows from the new Epcot World Celebration area. And uh, everyone arrived. Uh, it is the dawn of a new fireworks show, and so the crowds are here. And unfortunately, you might need to put a little pause on the cookie stroll, just because it's so packed. <laughs> so we're gonna go get ready for Luminous and get ready for this brand new show. He has a spot. So we're here in Japan. We finally pushed our way through the crowd. There was there's a lot of people here today getting ready for Luminous, and I can see why. Like, this is a brand new, exciting fireworks show. We haven't had like a full, big fireworks show here at Epcot in a while, and I'm excited to see it and share it with you guys.
amazing. Honestly, it's harmonious too for me. Like, I love the original music. I love the medleys of the IP. I love the fireworks and the effects. And it was incredible. I definitely see some people thinking it's a little bit like, personally, it didn't have the same impact as seeing Harmonious for the first time was for me. But at the same time, we did live with Harmonious and then this is this is the show to come up after it. And I think it's an equal successor. Like I feel like they're, they're equivalent. I, like I said, I love the music. I love just the effects. The fireworks, I feel like, were a little bit better on this one. And also, the fact that they move. Like, a lot of people, a lot of people complained about the water tacos being permanently there and ruining the view of World Showcase. And now, they fixed that, they fixed that problem and we're still able to have an amazing nighttime spectacular. They did an incredible job. I'm super happy with Luminous. I can't wait to see it more. Um, I can't wait to see it from different angles. Um, I'm actually up in my spot now, but uh, we did watch it from lower down just because my balcony was actually full for once. But as things died down, like I said, this is the first show. I think it's gonna get even better. And that is gonna be a wrap on our day here at Epcot. Wow. I am so happy with this brand new area. Like I know I've said it like 15 times in this video. Luminous is amazing. It's harmonious too. Yeah. And it's like we're coming back to a whole new park. Like it's it's Epcot 2 now. So yeah. I'm really, really excited so to many share. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> I'm so excited to share it with you guys. Hope you guys get a chance to check out the brand new renovated Epcot. We still got a little bit more work to do, but it's coming along nicely. And if you guys are new here, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Uh. <laughs>